So here's an example application problem that will hopefully help you uh, to, to see how these story problems, these applications work in general. This happens to be a finance problem uh, with, with relevant life applications, but uh, it should help you with any kind of problem that you might encounter on your homework, such as a mixing problem or a population growth problem or, or anything like this. We'll try to talk about general strategies. So the problem is a, is a sort of complicated multi-part problem. It would be a great exam problem. And it, it goes like this. Your current age is 20. And let's assume that the inflation adjusted interest rate is 4% per year uh, that you can earn you know, in the stock market or, or whatever. Uh, and you have a goal. Your goal is to retire on $50,000 today's dollars per year, starting at age 60. And ideally, you live to be 25 years to your, to your uh, average age of about 85 in this country. So the question then is, how much must I save every year to have enough money to do that uh, if I have these two different starting points? So what we have here is a multi-part question. There is one phase uh, at the beginning where you're saving money, and another phase at the end where you are withdrawing money. And uh, the same differential equation will apply to both cases, but you have a different, uh, a different withdrawal rate or savings rate depending on which phase you're in. So to solve this problem, we, we look, first of all, at the differential equation for uh, financial growth. So the rate of change of, of your money, your principal, is the interest rate times your existing balance plus uh, additional contributions if S is positive or withdrawals if S is negative. And just in general, we've solved this problem in general. Assume we have some initial condition, uh, x of 0 is x0, where these are just parameters. SR is a parameter, S is a parameter, x0 is a parameter in this solution. And we, we solve this problem. Uh, we put it into standard form equals S. And it is a linear, first order, homogeneous, constant coefficient problem. Sorry, not homogeneous. Uh, but we first find the homogeneous solution. We can observe from this constant coefficient uh, left-hand side that the homogeneous solution will be e to the rt times an integration constant. We've solved enough problems that we can, we can spot that. And then uh, how to solve for the particular solution here is a particularly easy example of the method of undetermined coefficients. So if we guess a constant, if x must be a constant because the forcing is a constant, then we guess that constant, call it a. The derivative of a constant is 0. We get negative ra equals s. And so s must, uh, sorry, a must be s over negative r. So the particular solution is negative s over r. And if you then evaluate uh, to solve the initial condition, we say x of 0 must be negative s over r plus c e to the 0. And that must equal x0. We find that c equals x0 plus x over r. And so I'll go ahead and write over here now the general solution of this ordinary differential equation. x of t equals x0 e to the rt plus s over r e to the rt minus 1, where I've collected similar terms. And this is the, the growth of the initial balance. And this is the uh, growth of the continued contributions that you put into your account over time. So now we turn to the problem at hand. We have the differential equation, and we have its general solution. And now we turn to the problem at hand. And it's basically a matter of plugging in constants. But there's a, there's a very systematic way of, of evaluating in each problem phase which constants you have and what you're trying to solve for that we'll practice now in this part of the problem. So uh, this problem, the ultimate goal, is a goal for the retirement phase. So that goal applies to the end and will therefore work backward. It's a goal that says, I have a, a desired end result. What do I need to do now? So let's start at the end and work our way backwards. If the goal is to spend $50,000 a year, then I'll put end phase 
The goal is to spend $50,000 a year, so the goal is to have S equal negative 50,000. Uh, R is given. It's 0.04. Uh, let's see, S, R, T is given. T is that we want this to last for 25 years. Uh, and the goal is, is to die broke so that uh, if we call age 60 t equals 0, then at t equals 25, we want the balance x to be 0. So the only thing that we don't know is x naught. What balance of money do we need at age 60 in order to achieve this plan? So x naught is the unknown. And we plug this in. We, we plug in these numbers to our solution. We say that at t equals 25, x equals 0. So we say 0 equals x naught, the unknown, e to the rt, 0.04 times 25 is conveniently just 1, plus s over r, e to the 0.04 times 25 minus 1. And uh, I apologize, we do know s and r. s is negative 50,000 divided by 0.04 times e minus 1. So we can now solve for x naught. We pull this negative over to the other side. We divide both sides by e. x naught equals 50,000 divided by 0.04. That's the same as times 25. So that's 1.25 million times e minus 1 over e. And at this point, we must plug into our calculator, and we get 790,150. So if we assume these things to last 25 years, I need 790,150 at age 60. So part of our problem is done. Let's write down that number. The second half of the problem is the accumulation phase. If I start saving at age 20, how much do I need to save every year in order to achieve that goal? So now we have a different set of numbers. Again, r equals 0.04. X naught now we can assume to be 0. You don't start saving until 20 or 40, so X naught is 0. That will simplify the problem. S is now our unknown. S is the thing we're being asked to solve. Uh, for age 20, then my uh, retirement will be 40 years in the future, and so T will be 40. Uh, X0 is given, and the goal is for x of 40 to equal 790,150. So we need to now solve for s that meets these, uh, these goals with these constants. So we plug in 790,150 equals, remember x naught is now 0, so that's easy. Uh, s is our unknown, 0.04 is our interest rate, r times t is going to be 1.6 minus 1. And so S is 0 0.04 times 790, 150, divided by e to the 1.6 minus 1. And when we plug that into our calculator, it is the very reasonable number of $7,995 a year, if you start now. So that's good. We answered part A. Seven thousand nine hundred and ninety-five per year. If we go back, we do part B. Now the difference between the time I start, 40, and the time I stop is only 20 years. So the only thing changes is that T final now equals 20. We still need to solve all of the same problems, except that T now only has 20 years to grow. So we put in everything the same, 790, 150. Again, S is unknown. Again, R is 0.04. Now, 
e to the rt is 20 times 0.04, that's e to the 0.8 minus 1. So s is 0.04, divided by e to the 0.8 minus 1. And plugging that into your calculator, you get the rather larger number of $25,789 per year. Uh, so the life lesson is, is, is quite obvious. You should start earlier in order to have less work to do every year. Uh, but as an as a application of differential equations, we found how we take a general problem, find a general solution, and then basically answer these questions by deciding which constants we have, what the goal is, which constant we need to solve for, and then doing some algebra.